now that it's summer and it's hot out, I'm going to be grilling all the time. Whether on my pellet grill or on my Weber kettle, something delicious is always on the menu. Like today, I'm going to be making delicious chicken thighs. Juicy, flavorful, and kissed by charcoal. So let's get started. When you're cooking, it's always important to make sure to start with the thing that will take the most amount of time. In today's cook, it's actually gonna be lighting up the charcoal and getting them started. So to start it off, I'm gonna get a heaping amount of charcoals in my charcoal basket, get a piece of paper underneath or any type of starter and light it up. Once the fire catches, you'll notice within a couple seconds that there's a nice amount of smoke coming out. This is the fire activating that charcoal. So now let it go for about 10 to 15 minutes so it can get a ripping hot fire. You'll start to see the smoke dissipate and look like it's almost completely done until you look closer and there'll be those flames bursting right out of the charcoal. That is how you know you're ready to pour. Now careful, they're hot. All right, ripping hot fire, beautiful blaze. Let's pour it out. Something about seeing those hot coals is just exciting. If you agree, give this video a big thumbs up. Now with cooking, you never want to waste a moment. So while we're waiting for the charcoals to heat up, let's go make our marinade. This is going to be a simple marinade, but a delicious one. Start off with about a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of black pepper, and one and a half to two tablespoons of smoked paprika. You can use sweet paprika if you want. It won't make a difference. Then for this recipe, I like to crush up at least seven or eight garlic cloves. The more garlic, the better. Just keep going. Next, pour in a good amount of olive oil and give it a very good mix. You can leave it on the side so that all those flavors start to blend together just for a couple of seconds. Look at that color, deep red brown color with those chunks of garlic. The aromas that come from it are unbelievable. Now I got my chicken thighs. I'm gonna get them into a gallon Ziploc bag and pour that marinade right over. Seal the bag properly and shake it like crazy. You want every nook and cranny of that chicken to be completely covered. And if it's a little bit cold, you can use your fingers to kind of massage it in. Or if you don't have a gallon Ziploc bag, just put it in a big bowl and massage it in. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. And now that it's nice and mixed up, I'm gonna leave it on the counter for about 30 minutes, just while the grill is getting ready. Now to add in a little bit extra smoky flavor, I'm gonna be using Bear Mountain's Gourmet Blend. Check the description section, I'll leave a code for 20% off on all Bear Mountain wood stuff. So I get it in a pellet tube, and I start the grill. And you can see there I added also a cherry wood chunk. I let the grate start to preheat. It's gonna be a completely open cook. After about one to two minutes, I spin the grates. That way the cool side can be used for cooking. That way you're not burning the marinade. I start getting the chicken on one by one. And now I pack the grate completely with the chicken. So this is gonna be an active cook, meaning I'm gonna be spinning those grates regularly as the cook goes on so that I don't end up burning one side or another. Now, because the flame is only on one side, it will allow the other side to cool down just slightly. And when I say cool down, it's all relative. It's still insanely hot. While the one that's above the coals give a little bit more char. Every 30 seconds, spin it again until you get a nice color. And once you do, flip. And if you're liking this video so far or you have some questions for me, let me know in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed, trust me, you're gonna want to because every couple weeks I have another incredible video coming out just like this one. Even while you're flipping, don't forget to twist the grates. Twist again and flip. Now the great thing about chicken thighs, especially without the bone, is five minutes per side and they're done. Otherwise, they'll end up drying out completely. Now on the other hand, they are a very forgiving piece of meat, especially because they are more fatty. Now, once that five to six minutes is done, time to take them out. Mmm, perfect color. Make sure you have everything ready for when you start, so that way when you're done, you can take them out and bring them directly to the table. And let them cool down for about five minutes before going ahead and giving them a taste. Let's give it a little taste. Perfect sear, perfect. Oh, hot. 
I love chicken thighs and chicken. At least the dark meat, juicy. The flavor penetrated so deep. Mm. Classic, delicious. Cheers. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.